name is Paige and I work for MDT Sporting Goods and this is for a new release we have at SHOT Show 2024. So what I'm going to be going over is our ACC Premier Gen 2 chassis. So this will be replacing our current ACC Premier Gen 1. Uh, a big thing you're going to notice on this is we went from a 18 inch to a 15 inch long foreign. Why we did that is there's some people that like to run a lot shorter foreign and they were having troubles with it going within the foreign and they weren't able to use their muzzle devices on there. So we decided to go with 15 inch foreign, which is also great for rimfire shooters because their barrels are also shorter. On the fore end here, we also went with a thicker uh, foreign like we do on the ACC Elite. So instead of that removable end cap, it will be a mill, milled in cap on the end here. So when you do do weights, you'll have to put them in first internally and then put your rifle in. But you can use, still use the weights that are used on the ACC Elite and the exterior ones. It still has the integrated arc rail on the bottom there. We come back to the barricade stock. So we also lengthen this a little bit more, so which is great for uh, when you have your bag there, that's not gonna manipulate the magazine in any way, especially for rimfire, which are very finicky. You wanna make sure you're not touching that. We also put two dowels in the side here, in the front, in the uh, inside the mag well. That will also help with rimfire mag to be able to seat them better in that mag well. Coming up a little back farther, we did stick with the Ambi mag latch that was in the first gen there. If you want to in the future, you can upgrade this to the adjustable mag latch that's in our ACC Elite. And we do what we did here is you're going to notice that there's a little less tooless features on the back here. And why we did that is we wanted to bring this price down under a thousand dollars. So this chassis is nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents USD. So that's a great price for an entry level uh, shooter to get into competition shooting because this is a competition ready chassis to go. And you can always add features in later, including these buttstock dampeners. You can do a vertical adjustment pad, and you can also change the grips out too. Hey, I'm Andy Slade with MDT. I'm here today to talk to you about the ACC Elite. This is the chassis that we've been winning things with all over the world. And we're just gonna go through some of the features. So uh, one of the things we wanted to do was shorten up the length of pull. So if it's all the way in, it's about 12 and a eighth inches. It can go out a lot farther than that. And we do ship it with a spacer. So depending on where you want it, you're able to do that. Adjustable length of pull, adjustable height of comb. If you pull the cheek piece off, all of the uh, tools to make your adjustments are held in by magnets right underneath the cheek piece there the everything about this chassis was meant to make it more rigid so you can see more downrange you've got enough uh, control the uh control bar here to make it more rigid and then we've got the thumb shelves and the pistol grip that everything is completely adjustable to fit your body moving forward the whole chassis was made to be more rigid so you're able to put control bridges or night vision bridges on top of it full length darker rail and then adjustable magazine latch underneath. So this is the ACC Elite built by MDT and it's made to win matches and it does that very well. So what I'm gonna go over is the J. Allen uh, G5 now. We originally had the G4, but we had made some updates to it uh, to make this more PRS ready. We're taking what the J. Allen, the greatness that it is, and then making it more competition ready for you. So what we've done is we've done an integrated arc rail on the bottom here. We've added a barricade stop, which a lot of people had asked from the first one. And it's a movable one too. So you're able to move that forward and back to get your balance point where you want on your rifle. We also are in the forehand here, we milled it in so that you're able to put internal weights in here, which we will have uh, later on, so that you're able to get more weight up front here so you're not too buttstock heavy. We have changed the mag latch into the ACC Elite one there. So it's an easy, simple way to adjust your mag latch up and down. We still have uh, the great dampening the dampeners that are inside here and on the fore end, but we were able to mill down and machine out some weight here. So you are being able to balance this better. And one last thing we did here was we went with the polymer uh, length of pole spacer instead of the metal one. So you're taking more weight out of the buttstock. Overall, now this is a, I feel like this is going to be a great chassis for competition because you get that nice, dead, solid feeling with this one. Oh, and one more thing too is the price point, which everybody's going to love. It's gone down from $2,000 to $1,499 USD. We're looking at the Hunt 26 or HNT 26. This is going to be the lightest chassis on the market. It's available in a folder or a fixed option. It has available Arca rail molded directly into the carbon fiber, which is awesome for your coyote hunters or anybody that's going to hunt off of a tripod. 
super lightweight option. Carbon fiber front, carbon fiber tail, carbon fiber pistol grip with the magnesium center section. It's gonna be really, really accurate. It's gonna allow you to improve accuracy if you're pulling a rifle out of a factory stock, but it's gonna give you that super lightweight if you're gonna go on hunts where you have to carry the rifle. You'll see a couple examples here behind me. This one has the Arca with the folder. The folder only adds about an ounce, so hard to even tell the difference in weight if you're holding the two in your hands. So I recommend getting the folder. Makes it super easy to put in a pack or put in a scabbard on a horse. This is the Hunt 26 from MDT. We've got the MDT timber stock. This is gonna blend a little bit of modern technology with a wood chassis, which is pretty neat. Adjustable length of pull, adjustable height of comb. You can do the vertical or the swept grip. Both are gonna come in the box. It's got M-lock underneath, so you can do Picatinny, Bolt-On, or Arca, as well as having the AICS pattern magazines. Beautiful look, modern accessories, and a retail price of $8.99. So what I'm gonna be showing you is our echo target sensor. So what I have in my hand here is our base station. So this is what's gonna be sitting with you at the firing line. And then we have our target sensors that will be going on the back of the target here, as you can see. So what this will do is you, you put the channel on the hub station and then the channel on the target you want it to respond, respond to. And all it is is target one. So it'll say impact target one on that one, but there's other modes where it'll just say impact it will have the sound of on steel and then steel impact. Uh, these ones can go up to two miles. So you have quite a distance on that one as long as you have a line of sight. Um, it takes about four hours from right when the battery is dead to be able to charge it again. And you can put up to eight targets on this one for I if you want an ID sent back to you. But if you just do one that just says impact, you can go all the way up to as many as you want. All right, my name is Paige and I work for MVP Sporting Goods. I'm going to go through here the LRA level, send it level. The great, this is a must have, I have to say, for when you're shooting PRS or competition shooting. This will indicate it if your rifle is canted to the left and to the right. So you can mount it right on the Picatinny rail. You can have the light any, any you can have it lower, you can have it higher. So what this, what the important thing about cant is, is that if you're canted off, your shot can go in the direction you don't want it to go. In my personal experience, I had this on my rimfire rifle and I was, wasn't was looking at my level and I kept on missing off the left side and there was no win, nothing. And then when I finally looked at my level and leveled it off, I was hitting straight on. So it's a very, very important, important piece of equipment. You don't have to do it just horizontal like this. You can do it vertically. We have vertical mounts and you can do have also an inverted mount too. So there's many different ways. Like we will show you on here on the scope. This is a little extreme. But this will show you all the mounting options you can do on this on on our uh, on your rifle here. So it's not like just one way you can do it. So just to kind of give you an idea, a little extreme. I know you're not going to see this many at a time. So this is what we uh, we did here for you to kind of give you an idea. Next here, we're going to talk about our one-piece scope mount. This is a great, great solid mount. Uh, you just have your bolts on the side here. It goes onto your Picatinny scope base rail. You just loosen those ones up put it on and then you tighten them down once you get to, but the most important thing is once before you tighten down, push your rings forward and then you tighten them all the way, all the bolts down. And we've had tests with this where people took hammers to it. They slammed a mallet on the side. They went to go take their shot again and it didn't shift their point of impact. So these are very, very solid rings. The nice thing about these two is you, there's no lapping required in our rings either. And we do have scope cap accessories that you can take these scope caps off and put other accessories like a red dot. My name is Paige and I work for MDT Sporting Goods and I'm gonna be showing you our new line of bags that we have. So the one I have in my hand here is what we call the peanut. So this is a heavy fill bag. So this is a great bag to have as a frontward support on your, on your rifle. So right in front of the mag while there. Once you slam it down, the nice thing about this bag, as you squeeze the front of this, you get a really flat surface for where your rifle goes on to is where you're wanting. So you're not having it kind of go all over the place. It's a great fabric too, so you're not gonna slide off anywhere. It's gonna stay in place. Next here, we have our old grand old canister. So we have two different fills on here. We have a house fill and we have a get light fill. 
So on this bag, what a great option for this is to use it as a rear support. So you want to use it behind, on, underneath the buttstock here. You can get, uh, you can do it this way or this way to settle your bag in the back. It's actually nice to have a lighter fill because then you can squeeze it and manipulate the bag a lot better to be able to get where you want your buttstock to be and you're not having to fiddle around with it. Last year, we have our traveler bag. The great one about this one, you can just clip it onto your side of your pack. Uh, what I like to personally to use these on are on like ladder stages where it's a tiny little amount there where you still want to get something under your bag. Then you'll still be able to grab your rifle in that bag and go between. Or if you're out in the hunting situation, you can put your hand through there, have something underneath the rifle just to, to, to secure that too. So these are the line of bags we have right now. I'm Keith Baker with MDT. We're going to talk a little bit about the zero stage trigger. It's adjustable from four to 64 ounces. It's electronically adjustable on the trigger just by a sequence of operating the safety and pulling the trigger. It's what we call our zero stage because as you pull the trigger, there's absolutely zero movement to the trigger. You just apply pressure to the load cell until it finally trips the, uh, the solenoid. So in firearms, we're kind of at a point right now where they're really, no, the, the, big, the big need of making a rifle more accurate is no longer there. Our barrels are about as good as they're gonna get, our actions are about as good as they're gonna get, so are our projectiles. So now we have to look at the shooter. So at this point, when you pull a trigger, there can be firing pin drag, there can be docking piece drag that can affect the primary ignition of a, of a rifle. The cool thing about an electronic cylinder, or electronic, the cool thing about an electronic solenoid is the first pull, in the 100 full, it's gonna be exactly the same. So the consistency in the ignition of the firearm is gonna be perfect and the same every time. Hey guys, this is the new hunting bottom metal that we've got that we just launched here. What do we have is, that's the biggest key feature is the slim profile. We also have a locking tab for your mag latch. Last thing you want while you're out hunting is to lose your magazine. So with the detent pressed to the side here, you can adjust as needed. So unlock it, drop your mag, go to insert when you're ready to get out into the field, hit that cross pin we're on this side, hit that cross pin there, and now you can't adjust that mag latch. So now you're not gonna lose your mag. So nice and thin, low profile, kind of integrated the mag latch into the trigger guard itself. So you're not going to hook it onto anything anyway, but this is the new MDT hunting bottom metal. Hey, we're doing a video, dude. We're doing a video. Just want you to do a video. We keep you happy. So we're here at the MDT booth with the new Crush It timer that we've designed uh, with the help of Chad Heckler and the rest of our team. This is a stage timer that you can utilize when you're on stage. You don't have to go and ask that RO every 10 seconds or 30 seconds where you are in your time. Uh, this allows you to go set it up on your gun. You can utilize the LRA mounts for it. Uh, and, or you can go and say Velcro it to your gun if you want to as well. Uh, there's two different ways to start this. We have a start button here on the front, which is also your dial for doing any programming. Or we also do have a pressure switch here. When you do start this up, you can see that it'll beep at you uh, and it'll flash so you know that it has started and rolling. During the standard setup on this, we have a 50% time uh, that'll beep at you, uh, 20, a 10, and then continuously at five. Now, that's the basic mode. In that basic mode, you can choose your sound levels and your uh, the tone that you want to hear because uh, we find that some people's hearings don't hear certain tones very well. Uh, in the custom mode, it's pretty well infinitely adjustable. This thing, uh, you can put it uh, five different alarms anywhere during your time there. Uh, you can have as many beeps as you want in that. You can have them at certain different uh, levels of sound and length of beep as well. So pretty much infinitely adjustable. Uh, it's gotten to the point now, the majority of the guys that have been running it, we don't even look at the timer. We just listen for the beeps uh, and you hear them and you know where you are in your time on the stage. It's pretty awesome. You see it beeping at 50 sec at 50 percent there now. Um, so. This is a, you can also, uh, it locks out when you're on a stage, so you can't roll this by accident. We really thought over pretty well everything with this setup, uh, and they're gonna be retailing for uh, 249 US.